Numbers has been the most important aspect of mathematics and today we're going to discuss about numbers and the number system. So starting with numbers. We have seen different types of numbers in the past when we have been discussing in various aspects of mathematical contents. So today we'll be discussing on numbers and coming with the first and foremost type of numbers is the natural numbers. Natural numbers are the numbers which are expected, which are expressed in the numerator form, but they do not have the denominator. For example, when I take the natural numbers, they are generally denoted with n. And the set notation for that set of natural numbers would be starting with 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. The natural numbers denoted by n starts with 1, 2, 3, 4, and ends till infinity. Now, in this case, we call them as natural numbers because they don't have the denominator, but they have only the numerator. And the, the definition here is they start with 1, and the next number would be the consecutive 2, 3, 4, and till infinity. And when I come to the next set of numbers, they are the whole numbers. So whole numbers are generally denoted by w and they start with 0 and they end at infinity. So when I understand the difference between natural numbers and whole numbers, I only see that whole numbers is the set of natural numbers with one additional element 0. So therefore I can mathematically define the whole numbers as all natural numbers including the element zero this is how i mathematically denote the whole numbers now coming to the next set of numbers which are quite famous in integers let me start with the heading integers now integers are denoted by z or z and we define the set of integers as all the elements coming from minus infinity including the negative and the positive coming out till infinity. So these are the set of integers which includes both negative, zero and positive numbers. So these type of numbers are set of integers. And what do you understand from all these three? I can denote the integers with respect to natural numbers as as I see that all these are the negative natural numbers and all these are the positive natural numbers including 0. So I can just define the set of integers as negative natural numbers union the element 0 which is taken as a special case and then the positive natural numbers. So this is the set of integers which we define in number system. Now next comes the set of rational numbers which is what we are going to discuss in the present session because that is more important as compared to all this set of numbers. So rational numbers. Now rational numbers are denoted with capital Q. Now we define rational numbers in the set builder form as all the numbers which can be denoted in the form p by q such that the conditions here are that p and q must be integers which we have already discussed in the previous session and that q should be not equal to zero. So under these two conditions we define the set of rational numbers in the form p by q as rational numbers. Let's see some examples in set of rational numbers. For example, if I take 5 by 2. Now I want to know whether this is a rational number. So let's see if it satisfies these two conditions. Then we will justify on whether this belongs to Q. When I say 5 by 2, my P here is 5 and my Q here is 2. So using P as 5 and Q as 2, I identify that 5 and 2 are integers. 
and I also identify that the Q which is equal to 2 can never be non-zero. So clearly Q equal to 2 is not equal to 0. Therefore, I identify that phi by 2 according to the definition of rational numbers is a rational number which belongs to Q. So therefore phi by 2 belongs to Q. Let me take one more example and see if that belongs to a rational number. Minus 3 over 4. Let's see. So I take again this number compared with p by q form. So I get p as minus 3 and my q is 4 where minus 3 and 4 belong to z because even negative numbers come under integers and then q which is equal to 4 is not equal to 0. So these are the two conditions which satisfy q. Therefore I can say that minus 3 by 4 belongs to q. Yes. Now let me go to the third example on finding whether that particular example would be a rational number or not a rational number. <coughs> so for example, I take square root of 2. So let me just take square root of 2. So in this case, I identify that the square root of 2 can be written as square root of 2 by 1, where this is written in the form p by q. So what would be my p? My p will be root 2 and my q will be 1. Therefore, I get therefore q equal to 1 belongs to z but p equal to root 2 the square root of 2 cannot be an integer. Therefore, it's, it doesn't satisfy the first property and hence I can say that root 2 does not belong to set of rational numbers. So this is how I understand the rational numbers through various examples. Yes. So we have been seeing different examples of rational numbers. So coming to the continued example, is 5 by 0 a rational number? This is very important in understanding rational numbers. So I taken this as a special example to understand what exactly is Q. So when I take the 5 by 0, I understand that P is 5 and Q is 0, where I take 5 and 0 belong to Z, but it doesn't satisfy the second condition, which, which is nothing but Q is 0, but it should not be 0. Our condition for second case says that Q should not be non-zero, therefore, phi by 0 cannot be a rational number. So this is one of the important example in understanding set of rational numbers. Yes, now we'll try to compare each one of what we have uh, considered that is the natural numbers, the integers, the rational numbers and real numbers. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So when I just compare, let me take it as a comparison case between the natural numbers, the next is the whole numbers, next is the integers, the next is the rational numbers and then next is the real numbers. So I understand that all natural numbers are part of whole numbers, subset of whole numbers and all whole numbers are subset of integers and all integers are subset of rational numbers and all rational numbers are subset of real numbers. The only case in real numbers is that all numbers in the form p by q such that q is not equal to 0. This is the definition of real numbers. So this is how I relate between all the sets of numbers in mathematics. Natural numbers always subset of w, subset of z, subset of q, subset of r, where r stands for real numbers.